स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज बाजिद सर दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द लेसन ऑफ फ्लेमिंगो प्लस टू इंग्लिश डीप वाटर विच इज रिटन बाय विलियम ओ डगलस विलियम ओ डगलस He was born in 19, 1898, and he passed away in 1980. So about the other, other was a great person. He is a well-known writer, and he was born in Maine, that is the small place in Minas, Minnesota, in USA. So here he got Bachelor of Arts. in english and economics his graduation he finished in not only english but also economics later he pursued a legal career and advisor he became advisor and a friend of president franklin d roosevelt in america he worked for so many years nearly 30 years he worked as a justice in the court and he became legal advisor to the president franklin d roosevelt after he became legal advisor and a friend to president franklin d roosevelt 30 years nearly he worked later he retired in the year 1975 so this is the information about the other william o douglas so in this lesson other is a narrator and in this lesson he explained the fear he faced in his life when he was 2 years of age and when he was 10 or 11 years of age so this lesson mainly deals with the fear the frightenness faced by the other in his life at the age of 2 years and the second time at the age of 11 years so the two places one is california beach and the second one is ymca waterfall so these are the two incidents he faced when he was 2 years of age and 11 years of age because of the two incidents he faced he got so much fear he was afraid of water what was the first incident he faced when he was 2 years of age actually my dear students this lesson deep water is an excerpt of of men and mountains this is the big story from this book this small story is taken as a lesson to us so deep water is a story which was given to us like a third lesson in the radar third lesson in the radar which was taken this story was taken from a big book of men and mountains from this book it is an excerpt taken from this big book so the main character is william douglas he is other as well as narrator narrator means the person who explains something to audience or readers those who are reading the book so two incidents first incident california beach when he went to california beach when he was 2 years of age he went along with his father to california beach we are going to beach to get entertainment happiness so there in the water shallow waters of the beach we are jumping 
throwing water and paddling walking in the water to get the entertainment delightfulness and happiness so in the same manner he also went along with his father to california beach at that time he was 2 years of age at that time the waves of the california the river moved very fast to the beach and knocked him down knocked him means hit him and make him fall down knocked him down and moved over his head the water moved over his head then completely he was under the water at that time he held his father tightly but he was a uh, he got so much fear he was suffocating his mouth was choked full of water he drank his father was laughing with the idea that though i am beside you you are getting the fear that's why father laughed so he remembered that incident a dangerous a terrific incident in his mind that is the first fear of water he got when he was 2 years of age that water stayed with him remained with him when he was growing also so after reaching 10 and 11 years of age once again here he went to one art book actually from that time he got a fear he wanted to learn how to swim swimming he wanted to learn but he was afraid he was scared of water so here first of all he wanted to go to the river akima in america akima river is there he wanted to go to a river akima to learn swimming but mother advised him not to go to the river akima because akima river is well known for his deep parts in it so many people were drowned in the water so many incident drastic and a terrific incident incidents were taking place so mother told him explain to him the dangers the drowning the deaths which were taking place in the river akima that's why not to go to river akima so she advised him to go to ymca water pool ymca water pool youth men christian association that is the organization there it is running of one water pool all people are going to take uh, swimming in the water pool so she advised him mother advised william o douglas to go to the ymca water pool and try to learn swimming so ymca water pool very beginning shallow waters that means the depth of the water is low 3 feet or 4 feet and the end of the water pool 9 feet deepness is there so that place is appropriate one to learn swimming that's why mother advised the son william o douglas to go to ymca water pool he acquired into the instructions of mother he wanted to go ymca water pool without going to akima river so actually our william douglas is ever to very apparatus of swimming apparatus of the thing but the clothes we wear actually here waterproof that means the cloth or the garment filled with the air while we are were learning swimming while you are learning swimming we wear such type of clothes filled with the air on to the arms so that it is very easy to learn swimming without being drowned in the water so to wear such a type of apparatus clothes garments he felt very uneasy 
because he was very lean. By wearing such type of dress, he seemed to be awkward, ugly. That's why he did not want to wear such type of dress which made him look like an ugly person. But the interest, the eagerness to learn swimming dominated the insult he is going to get by wearing the dress in which he seemed to be ugly. Previously, he avoided wearing the dress because he looks like an ugly person in the dress. But now he wore the dress and went to a YMCA water pool. So early morning, he went to YMCA water pool and he sat on the bank of the water pool. At that time, no one was there. He was waiting for the children to come to the place or people to come to the place to learn swimming. At that time, while he was sitting on the bank of the water pool, one side of the water pool, at that time, one uh, bully. Bully means bully is nothing but a person with a rude behavior, full of muscles. A strong, adamant person, full of muscles. A bully person, B-U-L-L-Y. A bully person came and lifted him up. At that time, he was in a sitting position. He was sitting on the bank of the water pool. So he lifted him in that sitting position and tossed him. Before he tossed, he cried at him, the person at him which type of uh, swimming you want he cried and lifted him up and tossed him at the end of the YMCA water pool so my dear children you know very beginning of the YMCA water pool the deepness of the depth of the water pool is very less three feet or four feet but the depth is uh, increasing gradually from Top to bottom. That means from present to starting position to ending position. Ending position of the water pool, it has a 9 feet depth. So whenever he was thrown and tossed inside of the water pool, at the end of the water pool, he got so much fear. In the sitting position, he was drowning in the water. He was going inside of the water. The nine feet of the water, the nine feet deepness of the water pool seemed to be 90 feet to him. Because of the fear, nine feet became 90 feet. So he understood. He thought that the depth of the water pool at the end of the water pool is so much. With that fear, he thought like that. Actually, it is nine feet only. But it seemed to be 90 feet. So he got so much terror and horror in his mind. When he was drowning, his mind became blocked with that fear. In that panic, he got so much fear. But his mind is not out of the thinking. So he made a plan. He wanted to apply that plan. Whenever he reached the bottom of the water pool, he wanted to touch the water pool, bottom of the water pool, hit the bottom of the water pool with his legs and he wanted to take a long spring. He wanted to jump towards the surface of the water pool. In that way, by floating on the surface of the water pool, he wanted to paddle to the edge of the water pool. That means whenever he hit with his legs the bottom of the water pool, with that force, he can go upwards by reaching the surface of the water pool. He wanted to paddle, he wanted to swim to the edge of the water pool. But whenever he touched the, whenever he hit the water pool, bottom of the water pool, and uh, he was going upward, he thought that he reached the surface of the water pool, and he opened his uh, eyes, but he did not reach the surface of the water pool. When he opened his eyes, he was able to see the water, the yellow color water, and he wanted to take a breath, but what he swallowed is nothing but water. 
he was afraid so the process of drowning in the water pool is explained in seven ways the total story and aversion to water so first of all when he was a two years of age and 11 years of age two years of age when he went to california which where 